Hello what is up everybody welcome to a brand new Destiny 2 video. Now as you may know Destiny 2 has been under a lot of severe negative feedback lately and in response to this Bungie has decided to cancel the scheduled Trials of Osiris stream and bring a much needed response. Today they dropped a new dev update. In this update they first acknowledge that there has been a severe lack of communication and transparency and then claim that they will improve. They also reveal that the changes coming December 5th, December 12th and 2018 and these are as follows. New systems and rewards. A new tier of weapons called masterworks. Improved vendor rewards. You will be able to spend tokens and shards to directly buy items and the return of armor ornaments. Better incentives for prestige that will be coming in January. The return of heroic strikes that will now be more rewarding. Private matches are still scheduled for 2018 as well as a ranked playlist. Tweaks and changes to crucible scoring and spawn rules. A quitter penalty and better incentives for crucible. Improvements to iron banner and faction rally. Changes to the mod economy, improvements to exotics and reduced duplicates, new items from Zur, and finally an emote wheel. There is some interesting things in that list and after that they go into some more detail of the December update. On December 5th with some features coming in December 12th there will be 4 areas they will be focusing on. Deepened rewards for advanced players. More control over what rewards you get. More use for shards and general quality. After that we are shown two pictures of a masterwork Uriel's gift. They then go into detail of what a masterwork is. On December 12th legendary weapons will drop or can be upgraded to masterwork. These weapons will track your kills and generate orbs on multi kills as well as will have re-rollable small stat bonuses. These weapons will start dropping once you hit 250 light and upon dismantling you will get an item that will allow you to upgrade another gun to masterwork. Raid and trials weapons will have a high chance to be masterwork. They then show a picture of an iron banner ornament in Lord Saladin's vendor inventory. These will be unlocked by completing objectives and are permanently unlocked account wide. The following sets will gain ornaments. Vanguard, Crucible, Trials of the Nine, Iron Banner, Every Faction and finally the Raid set. They then show a picture of a vendor screen with the ability to purchase items. You unlock this ability by opening vendor engrams and the items rotate weekly. We then see a picture of Zur. Every week you will be able to buy one fated engram. These are guaranteed to drop a non-duplicate exotic. You will also be able to buy a new item from Zur that boosts exotic drop rates for 4 hours. We then see a picture of Banshee and it shows you will be able to purchase specific legendary mods from him. After that it is then revealed that the Cryptarch will sell legendary engrams for shards. As well as this Zavala and Shax will sell gift consumables that will grant rewards to everyone in that activity including enemy players. You can purchase these for legendary shards. They then reveal a few more changes that are coming December 12th. Exploit safeguards for chests are being relaxed. Vendors will now beckon you when you have enough tokens for a reward. Daily challenge token rewards are being increased and Cade's treasures will now drop destination tokens on top of the current rewards. Tokens from strikes are also being increased and the value of destination tokens are being increased as well. In order for balance they have increased the amount of reputation you need for an engram by around 30 to 37 percent. And finally, you may now redeem raid tokens without having a full clear of the raid. To finish off this update, they go over some of the recent XP changes 
and what they are doing to fix the situation we are in, and then reveal that they will have a podcast discussing the state of the game in the future. What do you guys think of this response and these changes? Do you think these changes are enough to bring the majority of the player base back and to make the game more rewarding for hardcore players? I am interested in hearing your thoughts and opinions so please leave a comment. Apart from that, if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel because there will be plenty more Destiny 2 videos your way. And finally, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next video.